Hey guys, could be super here. Uh, what's going on? Oh, uh, sorry. Hold on. Uh, something is okay. Uh, welcome to another episode of Scratch Tutorials. Today, I'm a little bit tired. Sorry. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make pathfinding. Well, it's not really pathfinding. It's more like follow. A fo like how to make a sprite follow a path without having to code every single little thing. So first you're gonna need a path to follow. So I'm just gonna really quickly make like a uh, 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 like a purple land uh, blow stuff make it follow the path and stuff. Okay, and then there. There we go. So this is gonna be our path that we want our sprite to follow. So what you're gonna do is make and paint a new sprite. Call it whatever it's gonna be. I'm just gonna put a ball. Then, then draw it. It could be whatever you want it to be. I'm just going to make a red ball. Since, you know, this is just to show you guys how to do it. Not how to make an entire game about this ball or whatever. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay. So, let's um, make it bigger. Like that. There we go. Now, make sure your path is about the size of your whatever you want to follow the path. So what you're gonna do is put it as far off screen as you want. Then when when green flag clicked, go to motion, go to go to XY, put in your coordinates of the ball, then hide forever. Uh actually no, never mind, no no no, no not that I was getting confused. Anyway. So then, what you're gonna do is what is grab a forever loop, then forever move uh, two steps, I guess. Yeah, that's fast enough. Then what you're gonna do is go back here, make a new sprite, make like a little square a little bit above your character. Could be any color you want. You're not gonna see it. Then make a square below your character and delete the other square. Oh, yeah, by the way, this is gonna be for a different costume. So now you should have a costume, which is how your character is gonna look, a hitbox, and a second hitbox. So, what you're gonna do is forever move two steps, switch costume to the first hitbox, as in the top hitbox then then uh put a point in direction 90 at the beginning then go here then grab a grab an if statement grab a sensing touching color then put the color of the ground for your uh, path then then turn five degrees Switch costume to the second hitbox, which is costume three. If to if touching color of the not path, then turn the other way five degrees. Then switch costume to one. So then what's gonna happen is this. As you can see, it is following the path, and then when it gets to a corner. It's gonna turn of zero degrees. But here's the problem. If we make this character uh, not uh, a square and like a cube, say like this. Just like that. And what's gonna happen is, is when it turns, it's gonna turn like this. 
which uh, I mean if you want you could keep it like that but here's what you could do so that forever stays like that so what you're gonna do is at the beginning of the script grab a set rotation style put it to all around copy it make a don't rotate put it right before your switch costume to appearance and what you could do is as you can see when it moves uh, about the path it doesn't rotate and it, it works and basically that's how you do path finding sort of or path following thank you guys for watching uh, subscribe for more scratch content and gaming videos sometimes and I'll see you guys next time bye